Hey guys, welcome to Living Tomorrow Today. My name is Julio and if you own a Hensley Hitch, I wanted to make a video on how to disconnect your truck from your RV because this is a fantastic, fantastic hitch, but there is a learning curve to it. After using it as much as we have, we've kind of picked up some tips uh, that make it a little easier to disconnect from the truck. I like to think of the Hensley as a precisely built tool that gives you leeway to be imprecise. And what I mean by that is that, you know, it's built very well so that you don't have to be perfect on when you hook up and unhook. So the first thing after, of course, you make sure that you've disconnected everything, all the harnesses and chains from the trailer and, and the truck, that way nothing is hooked up. The first thing I like to do is just remove these little guys. It's been a while since I used all the names and all the nomenclature, so sorry if I don't say everything right. I would also recommend wearing gloves because you can pinch yourself as you start doing this. I've done that twice already. First thing, um, the uh, stabilizers are still tight, so you want to loosen them up. In the instructions, it'll say till they're sloppy loose. Now you can tell that they're loose. I'll do the other side. All right. I'm going to go ahead and raise the weight of the trailer off of the truck. So here's the thing when it comes to raising the trailer. I, I use it. I do a couple of different things. None of them are exact. They just help me disconnect a little easier. I've learned that typically the stinger here is somewhere between 16 and 18 inches uh, off of the ground when it's about the right place to disconnect. Again, that is not anything scientific. That's not in the, Hensley doesn't say anything about that. That's just kind of something that I've picked up. And that's also when I have uh, when I have this on the lower side because you can flip the stinger upside down so that it's higher But so I'm talking about when it's on the lower side on my truck as you use yours kind of figure out where, where it is for you So I'm just gonna kind of take a quick look at that. I'm at about um, 17 inches and Also, I keep an eye out for what it looks like the space right here in the receiver as I as I raise and lower the hitch or the trailer, I can see if there's too if it's too tight at the top, then I know I probably went too high. If it's too tight at the bottom, the gap is too small. I know that maybe I still need to go up a little higher. So here's where the gloves and some safety comes in. When you come to loosen this up, I do not recommend that you hold it like this and go forward because if there's too much tension on it. It's going to bring your hand in and it's going to pinch it uh, the rod against this because that's happened to me twice <laughs> So don't do that. So what I do is I keep my hands on the outside and I push out that way if it snaps It just hits that and doesn't pinch your hands The other thing you can do is go from the bottom to turn it. So here we go on this There you go that opened up pretty easy Another thing we've learned is that if I'm trying to take the, uh, I think this is called the OCL latches, I'm ten, if I'm trying to take those off and it's too hard, it's going to snap back. And that could be from a couple of things, is that one, these were, it was too tight when you put it on at the beginning. So it's going to have a lot more pressure as well when you take it off. The other thing could be you may not have enough weight of the trailer off of the hitch. If you are at a weird angle, like maybe the truck is way lower than the, than the RV or the opposite, or you're kind of at an angle, you may have to play with the angle of the box here by, by turning the jacks up and down until this turns the right way. So let's see if this one comes off pretty easy. I'm gonna grab it, go again. And there you can see. And there you go. And that's why I'm saying you don't want to put your hand over here. And that actually, that's exactly what happened. You guys can now see that it got caught up right here a little bit. So uh, let's figure out how to take that off. 
So when this happens to me, I really don't like getting my fingers pinched. So I don't like to try and bring this out over here and force it. Uh, and then maybe it slips and it pinches my fingers. So I just take a hammer and I gently tap up on it. If, if Hinsley's watching and there's a better way, please let me know in the comments. Uh, this is how I do it. Uh, I'm not saying it's the right way, but it seems to work for us. And it's just really that it's just cut up here, so. There you go. So now that it's disconnected, I'm gonna go ahead and walk around and uh, pull out so that I'm completely disconnected. So as you guys can see, the trailer dropped because uh, you can tell that the, the stinger here is a lot higher. So what I'm gonna do right now is just kind of make a note of where the bottom is, which is 18 inches. That way, when, I, when it's time to go, I'm gonna raise the, this part right here to about 18 inches. That way they're both about lined up and it's a little easier to hook up. When it comes to disconnecting, a lot of it has to do with the connecting part. Um, I like to spray a little bit of lubricant on both of these things. I probably don't need it anymore because I've done so many moves with it. Uh, but when it's brand new, it's going to be a little difficult uh, to connect and disconnect. One of it is just a learning curve. Part of it is that it kind of needs to wear in a little bit. Um, our first disconnect, you can see our video, we had to call Hensley because we couldn't figure it out. Every time I tried pulling out, I was pulling the entire trailer. So um, give it a little bit of time, a couple of moves, it'll wear in. The coating that they put on there is going to break off and wear off and it'll become so much easier. If you're watching this and you're getting ready to do a move, put some lubricant on there, it'll help. Also, when you connect your, uh, the OCL here, make sure that it's loose. Uh, when you close it, you don't want to. You really don't want to put a whole lot of force onto closing it. I hope that helps you guys. If you are new to the Hensley and you're kind of feeling like it's not worth it, or maybe you wasted all your money because you're having such a hard time, I promise it. It gets so much easier. Uh, we connect and disconnect now in just a few minutes. Uh, just keep those things in mind. If you guys have any questions about this, if I didn't explain something right, or you have a specific question, please leave it in the comments, and I'm more than happy to get back to you, uh, even make another video with some more detail. And uh, yeah, look forward to the uh, connection video we leave on Friday, it's Monday, so in a few days, we'll put out the new video on how to connect, or how we connect our truck to the Hensley. See you at the next one, bye-bye.